Hello and welcome back to part four of the walkthrough. Yep, and this is Aaron again, and hoping that you aren't too, like, distracted by anything else and not bored by my little walkthrough. The game seems pretty boring, as I've said about five times. Yep, but this game pretty much is boring right at the start. <sighs> So, right, it, I can tell you now that you're going to be pretty much watching me play this game and I'm going to be pretty much bored for about, um, about six parts to be quite honest. Oh, no, I have to talk to that girl later. Um, but I just did then. Talk to that girl and she gives you a special move, believe it or not. Um, but you have to get this Aeon thing, this summoner called Yuna, who's in the temple and she's been stuck in there for ages. Uh, but yeah, before you have, before you can reach her or get any of these Aeons, you have to do a Cloister of Trials. And the Cloister of Trials is just basically putting spheres, or these little orbs, into a freaking S like a little Stand slot and place. <laughs> will do different things and it is very distracting distracting very annoying should I say bad on me I just I just thought it in my mouth ah freaking hell stop with the talking right so you can see the priest on the right he just is wearing drag or something like that. Look at him! He's a fucking weirdo. <laughs> and this statue here um, is Yuna's father, Lord Braska. That's the one. And finally, we receive a statue for our temple. What's a high summoner? Bad question. Uh, uh, I I got too close to sins. Uh, Face bomb. Toxin. These people are highly religious. Oh dear. It was funny hearing myself make the same excuse over and over. Funny, and a little sad. The summoners are practitioners of a sacred art, sworn to protect the people of Yevon. Only a chosen few become summoners, who call forth entities of great power. They yes, the Aeons. Awesome power. Awesome power. They are the blessing of Yevon. So what he meant? Was that we should respect some kind of great men or something like that? Ah, <laughs> oh, Tidus has no clue whatsoever. Dirt, damn it! Looks like I'm gonna have to go back outside, talk to Walker again. Somewhat here, there is going to be a problem in the cloister of trials, and then I have to go back in and do the whole freaking. Trial. <laughs> oh, fuck my life. <laughs> Sorry, man. No Take a nap. You look bushed. Well, your hair's a bush now. Fuck off. <laughs> Go see how they are doing. You can't interfere. It's a rule. But it's been new. There is a problem over at the trials. No, oh, would you look at it? He's having flashbacks again. But it's been nearly. It's been nearly a day already. Perhaps you could go. People are. Okay. 
I'm too silent during these walkthroughs, it's just ridiculous. I can't really talk through the whole of it, I'm not I'm not a very talkative guy to be quite honest. You see me on commentaries and I'm like, talk, talk, talk. Well yeah, I basically plan through everything what I gotta, gotta say. Because I don't want to be going um in and ah in or whatever. I want to be making it fluent and everything. <laughs> but really, what can you do with live streams and walkthroughs? They're a bit confusing. I mean, you see some guys doing it, and they're just like they talk over the, f the like, um, they talk over the voiceovers on the game, and they're just like taking the Mickey. <laughs> but you know, I'm not like that. I'm a cool kid. Like I care, because I'm a kid. Maybe this wasn't. Aha, the cluster of trials. These these actual trials are not too bad. They um they keep the game interesting in a way and there's these little spheres that you can get which are special called destruction spheres. And if you get all these destruction spheres and like plant them in the right place, um you can get a special item. And along with that, if you get every single destruction sphere, like placed in where it's supposed to be or whatever, you can um, get the special Aeon anima, which you, which you have to basically type in a code later on in the game on an airship. Because later on in the game, you will be able to use an airship. Which is pretty damn good to be quite honest. I like the idea of using an airship, but that's basically been in every single Final Fantasy game to be quite honest with you. Um and being able to like choose where you want to go and like in case you've missed something in the past and you can just sort it out later on. I like the idea, it's alright. But yeah, you can type in special codes. I mean, I've got the flipping guide and everything for this game. Um, but yeah, what can you do with all that? Um, I've... Um, no, it's, what is it I was going to say? Look, there is the destruction sphere. Oh no, that's the besaid sphere. What am I talking about? Looks more like the destruction sphere. But I know that the destruction sphere is supposed to go there. Because I'm that clever. Something around the corner? What's this? Nothing. Brilliant. I love how they just randomly put text there. It's like completely pointless. It's like... It's like, what the fuck? Okay, I completely put that in the wrong place. Yeah, this is the really bad thing about these temples. If you put this... If you've got one sphere, you can't hold another. And if you place it in the wrong place and you've got to put another spear in that place, then you fucked yourself over for about five minutes. And as I said, there's about five of these temples, and each of them have a very, very difficult challenge. <laughs> oh my god, it's a freaking doorway. And there's the destruction sphere. Yes, boys. And I know that this is supposed to go here. Kazam! Oh, 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 so that writing was there for something, oh, look at that, a treasure chest, lovely, lovely jubbly, right, now oh, let's get this Besaid sphere, Besaid, and put it in this thing, which is trapped in the wall, and amazingly, it does something. 
I mean, what really gets me is like, how does this all reset after you've done it? It just suddenly goes back to the way it started. <laughs> and it's so weird. I don't like it. It's like s someone must go through this place every five minutes and just like, nope, it's not changed. Nope, it's not changed. Oh, it's changed. Let me just switch it back to the how it was. <laughs> case I've just got the rod of wisdom I think it is but really I don't need it yet because I haven't actually got someone who can wield a rod yet but in a few seconds as soon as we oh my god the statue goes into the floor but yeah, the only person who can wield a rod is Yuna and we are going to get her soon Tradition, very important. So, what about you? Me? I'm a guardian. A guardian? Whoa, whoa, ah! Someone has gone on a pilgrimage to pray at every temple. <laughs> You've got to love this freaking background the music. Guardian. <laughs> the Guardian's in there now. One of them's got a sharp fuse, and who knows what the other's thinking. Well, now that we've come this far, might as well go all the way. Yep, might as well go all the way, definitely. Not done all this crap for a note. What are you doing here? Didn't oh, holy mother of God, who is that? <laughs> it's, uh, it's just... See, I told you she... She has a short temper. And yes, just a random standing lion. It... Who are you? <laughs> that was very rude. So yes, that doorway, or what looks like a shield, is actually a doorway to where you can get the Aeon. Just waiting. Ooh, Jacob's online on Skype. I said it. I have become a summoner. Okay, she's got two eye colours. Seems nice. <laughs> Man, was I surprised. And here I was thinking summoners were all old geezers. Okay then, let's go. What you are about to experience. Prepare for the amazing art of summoning. <laughs> she is going to summon the Aeon Veil 4. Okay. 
Although this Aeon is very weak in some ways, it can hurt to use it. <laughs> So yes, some random music starts playing in the background. Just waiting for her. Oh my goodness. What magic is this? Oh, praise the Lord. Probably like, what's up, bro? <laughs> Bitch, please. Would you look at that? It's got rings. <laughs> it's got ear piercings. What's it done to itself? I had never seen anything like it in my life. Sure, it was a little scary, but still, I could feel a strange kind of gentleness coming from it. And the good thing about this, you can name your aeons. Because I'm not childish, I'm just going to keep it baleful. <laughs> I remember that night. We talked for the first time. I didn't know it then, but after that night, everything changed. For everyone. For me. Well, no kidding. You're the main character in the story. Stupid thing. Stupid Titus. Let me. This guy here. His memory's a little fuzzy, so don't come on. I must say this part's pretty boring as well. So <sighs> the Besaid Aurox. Where they where did the freaking people of Final Fantasy actually come up with these names? The Zanakid Apes, the Blit the Besaid Aurox. And then there's like um, Kilika Beasts, the um, Luca Goas. I mean, where did the Goas part come from? Um, Albert Sykes. Then there is the um, Ronzo. No, no, can't remember what they call the Ronzos. That's all. I also get them. <laughs> you even. You heathen! Stay away from the summoner! It was really my fault, to begin with. I'm Yuna. Thank you so much for your help earlier. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't that... Wasn't I not supposed to... Guess I kind of overreacted. <laughs> oh, no. I was overconfident. And that is the girl that suddenly he falls in love with. I saw that Aeon thing. That's amazing. Uh, really? Do you think I can become high some? No. <laughs> Come play with me some some more. That is just one sentence you do not want to hear from a child. <laughs> Going on the same boat, aren't we? Oh, really? <laughs> we can talk. Yeah. Huh. Talk more. <laughs> you can tell me all about Xanarkin. She's cute, huh? Don't get no ideas. No promises there, big guy. Hey, but what if she, like, comes on to me? 
Ah, oh, what a letdown. <laughs> you get tired, let me know. I had a bed made for you. <laughs> what an absolute letdown. Stay away from the summer now. Wait a minute, where the hell am I supposed to go? Yeah, I'm ready for the bed. Good. Sleep tight. Yeah, the next day I'm gonna have to talk to that little girl again. Hopefully she'll give me energy blast. Um and then we can go to Luca, which is the very big city. <laughs> Flashbacks. <laughs> Usually, when I play this bit, I'm always like, "Is it supposed to move on its own, or am I supposed to move?" <laughs> so I'm like stood there for like five minutes. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, it's Riku. Told you not to get any ideas. Yeah, so you're coming. You with a woman? You can't even catch a ball. <laughs> Gonna cry again. That's the only thing you're good for. That's the only thing you're good for. Huh? You have I hate you. <laughs> You can do it. I hate you. <laughs> He's dead, okay? Dead. I'm sorry about this, I've still got a cold, so I will be sniffling part of this. I mean, come on, look at this. Look at this cinematic. Oh my god. Look at the belts. What on earth? Shouldn't have brought him here in the first place. Yeah, but excuses again. Yeah, but if you like this, that's it. If you like looking at Lulu like this, then please give this video a like. <laughs> when they fought Sin last year. He didn't make it. I first heard on the day of the tournament. Oh, so that's why. I became a guardian to fight Sin, yeah? Revenge then? That was the idea. I'm more worried about a stupid game now than avenging my brother. Well, after the next tournament, I'll be a guardian full time. I know it kind of looks like I'm using you, but I'm not. Don't worry. I mean, I owe you a lot. You really helped me out, you know? What I mean is... Thanks, Waka. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. You're embarrassing yes, me. that is embarrassing. Very embarrassing. Somehow. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to do this little part, what I've said. So I'm going to save as well. And that this will be the end of part four. Oh, look at that sword. Hey, sleepy head. Something I want to give you. Whoa, you're giving this to me? Yeah, use it well. Brotherhood. 
That is its name, somehow. That's the sword you gave Chapu. Well... <laughs> he just looks awkward though, he's just like, what the fuck? We're taking the same... Why did he give me the same shot as his dead brother? Since then. But she had the Now. This is... You read... Uh, they're not really my things. Th they're gifts. This is... <laughs> oh, she's packed all that stuff and all of it's gone to waste. Poor Yuna. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to leave yet. What's he doing? <laughs> Put me back in Perseid Village. Yay! Okay, that's useful. Now where's little girl? I must find this little girl. I sound like a pedophile on a game. Right. Should be something around there, I swear. No, 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 definitely not. Oh no, that's on Final Fantasy X Part 2. My mistake. Okay, uh. <laughs> so that girl must be here. Please be in here. Damn it. I mean, she better give me this special move. Or else I will be pissed. I will be very angry. Oh! 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 Where's this, where's this little girl? That's a dog. That's that's a dog. That's a dog. I swear that's a dog. Nope, never mind. Let's go we'll have a look in a temple. And okay, so she's not here. Please be in the temple, please be in the temple. Please be somewhere around this village. God damn it. Ooh, girl. Huh? <gasps> ah, oh, what? What was that? <laughs> I don't even know what happened there. I think that may have been the girl, but... Ah, oh, damn it! Didn't even let me see what the doorway was like. Because I can see something shiny. Don't make... Damn it. I'm just going to go save the game now. <laughs> Now that is what you call epic failing. <sighs> Ooh. Albert Primia. Save game. Alright, hope you didn't get bored of this walkthrough. 
hope you are looking forward to part five and six which will be in a few days time all right hope you enjoyed like rate not like rate like comment and subscribe please and that has been two hours gameplay already god it seems a lot of time all right see you later guys